how would you approach an oral examination of the mouth? First, I would observe the patient's mouth closed, looking for angular stomatitis and the colour of the lips. Then with the mouth open, you can check the general dentition and signs of central cyanosis. Central cyanosis occurs as a result of poor oxygenation in the lungs or reduced cardiac output. Physical exertion makes central cyanosis worse, so it may not be noticeable after a period of rest. Stomatitis or chilitis is seen in the elderly and is often associated with badly fitting dentures, gum and teeth problems. In rare cases, it may be due to a lesion of the seventh cranial nerve. In the mouth, we examine the teeth and gums for signs of infection or gum disease. Gum disease may indicate several causes, including infections like candida, iron deficiency anemia, celiac disease, dermatitis and allergies, and nutritional deficiencies. When inspecting the tan and mucosae, look at the state of dentition for signs of ulcers, the coating on the tongue, and for suspect lesions like leukoplakia. Remember to ask the patient to lift their tongue and inspect again. A sore tongue that has a red beefy appearance may signify iron deficiency anemia or deficiencies of B12, niacin and folic acid.